welcome everyone. Today we're going to be working on an RX 580 Armor 8 gig and going over all the reasons that you will get the 511 error temperature code, unreal temperatures. Normally there's four things that will cause <clears throat> the unreal temperature which one of them is mainly your overclocking and you're better off to back it off a little bit this is one of the other things the riser they go bad a lot the hotter they get the quicker they go bad your riser cable they're known to go bad and it'll give you that temperature the temperature code or it'll just randomly fall off just mine for a little while and then quit and then this is what a bad one what they look like when they get bad <clears throat> as you can see this side's still really good and stiff still that side's still good but this side it got hot and whenever they go bad it, they seem to get hot and get all gooey at the end and flexible So that's a good indicator that your wire is bad. If you can wiggle those easily, they're usually bad. One of the other reasons, I just know I kicked the camera, would be the riser card. Which, that's pretty simple. If you replace all that, and you're still getting the, the error code, I'm just going to throw this clip in the middle because it very well could be relevant to your problems. If it's saying that your watchdog is saying GPU number two, most of the time it is correct, but not always. I'm going to scroll down. It says number two detected dead three will start the restart. So most of this is gibberish, but you come up and look. Number nine is putting zero mega hashes to the pool. So right after this thing rebooted, number nine never started back up. So therefore, for some reason it said number two was dead, but number two is actually number nine. So I made changes to number nine and that fixed it. And now we'll get back to our regular back to our fixing video which I wasn't sure at the time of making this video if I was going to be able to save this card or not because I couldn't you can't even plug a wire into it here is the wire that come out of it my camera will ever come in focus here but this is the wire that come out of it and you can see the plastic plastic plug on the bottom side the four the six plus two there's a bunch of plastic missing and they're all they're both missing a bunch of plastic but the other side is in the the breakout board on, on my power supply so I have a bunch of extra plugs for that but I have to get all the plastic out from inside the graphics card and that's what I'm gonna be doing today and all the plastic that's not there is in the graphics card and I'm going to try and keep this video as short as possible today with as much information as I can so I'm going to show you the tools that I use to get that plastic out that is a wee little tiny star bit screw screwdriver a little piece of copper that I sanded down uh, a little breaker bar and then a screwdriver handle to hold the the wee little tiny star bit I tried using a flat screwdriver head but it doesn't seem to want to get really close to the edge of the uh, of the plastic down inside and it kept wanting to bend the terminal and this little star bit will go all the way around the terminal without bending it and it'll go clear to the bottom of the plug so we're gonna get into it I first start by taking the breaker bar and tapping down inside, which I'll show you here. 
I don't know, you'll probably not be able to see it, but one of them terminals has a bunch of plastic stuck down inside of it. I'm going to point it out right here. Can't really see it, but there's... You can see how the, all the other ones are nice and shiny, except for this one. And there's just a bunch of... Uh, burnt plastic stuck down inside of there that that we're going to get out today. There's a little bit closer view. Kind of see that little chunk, just a little piece of melted stuff down in between the terminal and the plastic. I'm just literally sliding that terminal down in to on the sides until I feel plastic or something stopping it. And then tap it with that bar. Something not real heavy. I don't want to break it. I'm just tapping it. And I'll feel around and get it back up on the lip. Then I can feel in there and then I'll tap it again. This doesn't really work. I mean it does, but it it doesn't work as good as the what I start doing here in a minute since that is a wee little star bit uh, you'll see directly here that I'll actually start spinning it but the, the main point is to just ba basically get all of the plastic melted plastic out of the terminal to where I can get another plug in to plug in and then before I actually plug it in, I take that little piece of copper tool that I made and I scratch that metal terminal clean because it's all black and burnt. There you can see some of the chunks falling out of the burnt plastic. It looks better, but it's not done. I'm probably going to go ahead and skip forward a little ways because I'm not sure how long <laughs> I'm not sure how long I sit here and dig this stuff out. Right now here I'm going to take and clean the aluminum terminal sticking up out of the center. I uh, sanded that down to where it's very skinny. As you can see it will just bend really easily. But I got a little wee little hook on it so I can actually scratch that aluminum terminal clean in the very center. All the edges around the whole thing. You just go all the way around it, top to bottom, scraping the sides of it with that, with that copper. And the copper is just a little bit softer than aluminum, so it, it won't hurt the terminal, but it'll clean all the, all the black off and get it shiny again. So, while I'm doing that, we're probably going to jump forward again. <clears throat> okay, here we are. We're going to put the wire in. So I don't quite think it goes yet. I have a little bit more to do. Yeah, you can see it won't quite go together. I don't have it. It's definitely not good on my camera angle. But it has a little bit more to go. I'm still using that thing. Skip forward again. All right. 
right, and now here is where I started actually spinning that wee little star bit around the aluminum terminal, and it's just, it's chewing all that metal stuff, or metal, chewing all the plastic from around the edges, all the burnt plastic, it's chewing it all out of there. basically just going all the way around the aluminum and getting all the burnt plastic out so it doesn't look like very much but whenever that terminal fits perfect it's way more than enough and I'm just spinning it around plugging them back out and I'm basically just keep digging around in there until I can get it to lock I think it just about I think it might have locked right there yeah yeah we got it so there it is in the test rig and that test rig is just a TB250. It's not the Pro, which I have the Pros downstairs. Just a regular TB250. And the TV's not on. So you can't see that it's working. <laughs> well, you will. And this thing right here. cable is a must this is what I use for formatting my SSDs or you use it for formatting hard drives also but it's just a 2.5 to USB port I got that one at Best Buy <clears throat> I have another one I have another one that that I ordered from eBay so I have two of them just in case so I've got a lot of hard drives that, that are SSDs that have corrupted. And then you just, and another thing, a lot of people try and just reformat them. You cannot just reformat an SSD. You have to wipe it clean, delete everything off of it, and then reformat it. Because if there's any, if there's any error codes in there, it'll just, if there's any, corruption in any of the files it'll just read the it'll see the file and see that it's there and then just skip over it and go to the next one and it doesn't realize that there's files inside of that file that are corrupted so there it is it posted it actually loaded into hive it will not mind because i've got the internet turned off or it's not turned off but i don't have the internet plugged into this board so I let it sit here and run for about 15 minutes to make sure it's not going to overheat again. And I unplug it and we're going to jump downstairs and I'll throw it in. Alright, so here's the other end of, that, of those two wires. The one that was plugged into that graphics card so it actually smoked those terminals and you can actually see back in that one terminal that there is a bunch of melted plastic in there and you cannot plug another plug into it luckily I have these breakout boards with a bunch of extra outlets so I can just use a different spot and now we're going to slap that card back in this rig and I'm not going to make you guys sit here and watch the whole thing of me plugging it in. I just wanted you to see where the melted terminals. And there it is. I just fired it up. You can tell how clean it is. Which one it is because of how clean it is. And I know the wires are a mess, guys. Uh, I had to order more wires. As you see, and that was my problem. I, was, I had wires that were very old. So that's it, everybody. If this helped you, go ahead and maybe throw me a like. If you want some more helpful information like this, go ahead and subscribe. I'll be uploading weekly.
All right, everybody, you have a good day and mine on.